Welcome to Amsterdam and KubeCon CloudNativeCon 2023. Join John Furrier, Savannah Peterson, Rob Strecce, and Yu Piscott as the Cube covers the largest conference on Kubernetes, cloud native, and open source technologies together with developers, engineers, and IT leaders from around the globe. Live coverage of KubeCon CloudNativeCon 2023 is made possible by the support of Red Hat, the CNCF, and its ecosystem partners. I'm John Furrier here for our day two wrap up swag review. Of course, I'm joined by my esteemed host this week, Rob Strecce, Savannah Peterson, who will be doing all the swag review presentation, and yep, it's our, our guest analyst on theCUBE. Two analysts, two hosts, swag review. Savannah, It's going to be a it, wonderful close. Take it away. This is our favorite segment. Just as context, <laughs> last Detroit KubeCon, we did a swag review, Savannah's brilliant idea. It was the hottest, largest viewing segment Everyone, and then it got competitive. The knives came really out. Really competitive. We did it day one, which was brilliant, and then walking through. So we're going to double down on this. It's a, it's a fan favorite. For sure. Then, then we're going to start having Editor's Choice Awards. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I trophies mean, down, okay, anyway. We're going to be doing CUBE <laughs> events about swag in the future. <laughs> It'll be great. But it, 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 just, to, just to set the stage a little bit, and the, and the reason that it matters to me, and I was grateful that you let us kick it off in Detroit at KubeCon, is you have to stand out. We're on a show floor with 10,000 people, and lots of different booths, lots of similar words on some of those booths. And if you're going to stand out and attract attention, you really got to make sure you're doing something different. Which is why I was really impressed. So just real quick shout out to Frank Fay and his family, Jocelyn and Mari. They have been working hard. Frank's on our sales team. They've been working super hard all week to find the best swag, leveraging that. I think there's a little bit in it for them sometimes when they do it. But I was extremely <laughs> impressed day one when Frank came and showed me something that I have actually never seen as swag. Now y'all, I've been to thousands of events and I have never seen this as swag. This is the replicated apron. I was originally just going to wear this and nothing else for the segment, but I thought that might be a little inappropriate. But as you can tell, it's really nice material, it's leather, it's super fancy. They, they very much curated VIP bags for, for their community. Just lay that out for everybody. I got to say, it's nice. And with it, yeah, original. They, they brought some coffee. Now, I like this because these are two really practical things. I don't like saying stuff that's going to go into the landfill. You know I'm passionate about sustainable swag. And so these are two things that I would use. So I, this is actually my personal stash kit. This isn't even just our props for the day. On the same uh, theme as the morning. It's, it, it's interesting here. We're here in Amsterdam. It's a city known for having a lot of fun. We'll put it that way. And uh, you can tell that the vendors really localized some of what they did to that kind of culture. So beyond the coffee, We've also got this D2 IQ hangover kit, complete with a little eye mask, which as a lady on cam, let me tell you, I'm going to be using this baby tomorrow, as well as a hydration tab, some Mentos. It's a whole shebang that also not only complements the electronics bag for you at the show, but it also comes with a sweatshirt for those dark and cozy moments in the morning there after. I was actually wearing this sweatshirt this morning when I went and saw Leonard, who runs production. He can attest, he's giving me the nod back there behind the camera. And uh, nice and cozy, always great to get high quality swag. And just in case you forgot where you are when you wake up in the morning, at least the title's right here. Yeah. We've got that going for us. Were you wearing pants for that? <laughs> I, I chose to wear pants up to breakfast only because I thought we might see guests. Had it just been me here in Amsterdam, who knows if I would have had anything on, really, John. I would have just been wearing the apron. Yeah. Let's let's just uh, go ahead and run with that. Actually, speaking of localized... I was going to say, the leather straps go for you, so... It works. Yeah. Leather works right. for me. Yeah, yeah. I've got no qualms about that. Uh, see, now this is... This is <laughs> I want to know what this is. Yeah. Well, Tell me. Come on. why don't you play with it and tell me what you think it is. Ooh. So, so I, I always love when something's local, and I, this is a really good example. I know. Say okay, very, I got very it. This local. is a bike tool. Yeah, Everything it's a you need to fix your bike. How cool is that? We had Liz, who rode all the way from London here, which is crazy. Lots of bicycles outside. I I've almost been, got hit by one. I was just gonna say I've been dodging them. Sometimes inebriated, not exactly the best, the best play. But this is a really thoughtful piece of swag by Intel. Super useful. Yeah. The type of thing that someone's not just gonna go put on their desk and collect dust, but actually throw into their bag and use. I know it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I might have to go get awesome. one myself. I know. This I, is, I, this I had, is super cool. I had the exact same thought. On, on the note of quality, so Cast and Bybeam always does a really good job. They had the massage gun that actually won our contest at AWS. And they had some really nice Carhartt beanies, which are also localized when we were in Detroit, which is rad. 
they were nice enough to pack me in this wonderful bag. It's durable. It's great. I actually took it out last night. It's it's the tool that I'm using here at the show, which is just, just really thoughtful. We're going to have those guys on the show actually tomorrow morning, which will be super fun. Moving on down the line, we know there are always shirts at trade shows. I am real picky. In fact, we had some folks come over here and try and tell me they had the best shirt at the show. They don't have the best shirt at the show. If I'm calling the shots, it's got to be pretty innovative. It's got to be pretty clever. I know that Tom, that uh, that John and I are big Top Gun fans. Yep. So we've got this Top Frog shirt from J Frog, which is quite clever. I actually watched Maverick on the plane here, so really nice. So I noticed the tagline: "Secure the need for speed." And of course, speed and scalability. We've been talking about this all week. Uh, one of the one of the Absolutely. hottest topics at the show. The every only year. thing the only thing that doesn't have is AI. Right. <laughs> yeah, only there was like a dot GPT or something here. And there. Yeah. There's always next year. Next there's year, yeah. They're, they're, they're not as innovative. There's room on this for improvement. Well, that's, they can they can layer yes. on. Yes. They can they can layer on with that. I, I like bolt that. On, they're what gonna bolt on got? some AI. What else you got? Uh, so I'm gonna actually. So the yin and the yang of dev and ops. Ooh. We got dog and cats, Ooh. which I thought was very clever. This is it's Dell. Dell. This Dell. is Dell. Up and, their game. And, Dell. and to go along, I'm just going to use myself as a hanger. To go along with the dog and cat yin and yang, they also have a pooping dog stress ball <laughs> and a puking cat, <laughs> which is which is great. Bonus points to Dell. I just want to shout this out. A lot of times people will do swag that isn't branded. Now, there's such a missed opportunity there. I think high quality swag with intent is definitely the way to go. But beyond that, why not remind people that it's made by That's or that it was given away by Dell? Paying attention to details is super important. Detail, 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 man. Details it's matter. all in the details. And people like me love to see that you thought about it. It's yep. all about being a little more intentional. You guys, are you, all right, you dog or cat person? I'm a dog person. Dog person. I'm a dog person. Dog person. I go both ways. Uh. You would, John Furrier. You would. <laughs> On that. <laughs> well, it is Amsterdam, so. Hey, I'm the last <laughs> judge. That's for sure. And uh, last on our T-shirts, just because I thought it was funny, and we're always playing buzzword bingo here on the Cube. Don't touch do my got? YAML. Do That's good. Gotta oh, love, got to love the is, YAML joke. That is got got I mean, there is a the really shield. small sector of the population that would actually understand what this means, but pretty much everyone in this room does, which that's is really, which is really a, saying that's something. That's a good inside baseball joke right there. Yeah, well very done. good inside baseball. I we, we had our youngest guest potentially ever on the Cube this week, and I also met a founder who was really interesting. It hasn't been a guest yet, but hopefully we can recruit him. He's founded five different companies in the Kubernetes space. He's actually the CEO of five different companies, and his PR gal, Tina, Tina, shout out to Tina, promised to give you a little love, created a whole bunch of different Cubes, so these are each for different companies. But as Cassandra was saying, she looks for the best plushies. I hope she finds her way to this little squadron of toys. There's, we have four of the five. I'm not sure what happened wow. to I don't think the wow. fifth company is here. But yeah, I guess if we all want to identify as a square plushie, we can, we can have one. I'll this take is, the test cube yeah, any day. Yeah, yes. It's a nice little nice little moment for us. We're going to tell that guy to stop starting companies. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, yeah, yeah. at what I, point do you stop? I, Six, I, ten? <laughs> Talk about, I mean, talk, people talk about like Jack or Elon with balancing multiple companies. Five? I legitimately cannot even imagine having five different companies. We are in the land, oh, actually, no, I'm just going to start this back. Our hotel has some of the nicest waffle situation I have ever seen. The waffle bar is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> I, I realize certain waffles are considered Belgian, but there are a lot of waffle giveaways. This was even in our lunch today, I think, is where this came from. And then, of course, if you know anything about the Dutch, you know about the Stroop waffle. This has become very modernized by the airlines in the U.S., but the Stroop waffle is a Dutch classic and a true delicacy. If you guys get hungry while I'm going through the swag, feel free to start eating those. Great. <laughs> this made me really excited for a couple different reasons. One, because I do, I, I love that people are starting to get so excited about the segment that they're just bringing their swag over to try and pitch us to, to get a feature. But anytime you combine two fun words, I'm really into it. So these are space beaver socks. That's probably the only time John's going to let me say beaver on camera. So we're just going to hold this for a second and let you all enjoy everyone, it. Everyone loves space. And everyone loves space, although RIP Starship, it blew up today. Really sorry if you're a space fan. Super sad day for space. Thankfully, I think everybody was safe, but still still a big moment in, in that world. Okay, so I'm going to ask for your help here, Rob. There we go. So, now we're talking. 
actually have to almost like stand up so you can still see me. Legos are a big theme, and, and I'm not sure exactly what the crossover is between the dev community, the open source community, and Legos, but every show we go to, there's a whole bunch of Lego sets, although this one, I'm told, is limited production, limited edition, it's selling out, it's obviously massive, this thing is easily the size of my body. This is from our friends over at IBM who were just on the last segment. They are raffling this off in addition to, I'm just going to set this down so we actually have a little life and room. <laughs> In addition to perhaps the priciest giveaway on the show floor, See. Yeah, a little Oculus action. They're giving away one of these every 15 minutes, Every 15 minutes, and Legos as second prize every 15 minutes. Yeah, and you got to be in the booth. You know, you know, these types of activations where you not only need to participate <laughs> or play a game, but actually show back up and continue to interact with the brand. Yeah. I think it's yeah. super smart. Is, is, are the Space Beavers in there? I don't know. Maybe we should make a Space Beaver game. Are, and are they stuffed or not? That is you know, a matter of interpretation. <laughs> I, 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 I haven't okay. seen the plushy space beavers, <laughs> okay, okay. but I am I am here for it. Whatever happens next, hey, you never know what you're going to hey, get on the cube, hey, folks. Metaverse, anything's possible. Yeah, you never know. All right, and last but definitely not least, if you know me at all, you know I love a good prop, and I particularly love a good conference hat. You may have seen my cowboy hat. You may have seen the bucket hat. We do a lot, but the cloud champs hat is really great. I managed to get a matching one. Actually, four of us have a matching one. We've got a prod team situation going on. Noah and I have matching caps so that we can look really cool, but <laughs> the thought of being a cloud champ just, just really did it for me. You're a cloud champ, look at I, that. I feel like a cloud <laughs> champ yeah. here. I'm surrounded by cloud champs. There's a lot of cloud, wow, I, woo! Let's get those words coming out of my mouth properly. A lot of cloud champs all over the floor. This is really a celebration of cloud champs. I'm it just is? happy to have the right hat on. Pick okay. the right team. Great, great hat. It looks good on you. Thank you. Thank you. Blue's one of my colors. Yeah. They're all bright. So that is that is the end of my segment. I'm calling the winner. It sounds silly. And, and this is such a dark horse and unexpected. I have seen Oculus is given away. I have seen Legos. I have seen socks and t-shirts. I have never seen a quality apron. Yeah. And I feel great about it. And I, I, I like the implication of, of makers and doing and... I don't know. Maybe let's get all and get all these developers in the kitchen after they're done I think, building things. I think it's a good call. I think the originality is great. I, agree. I think the IBM yeah. high quality valuable gift is a good good intent in, for sure. Good intent. It's immediate satisfaction, but the durability of the mind Just share nice. of that is original totally. and sticky. It's for sticky sure. and it's easy to pack home, which is another thing that people think about. I, However, I, as a Dutch guy, I have to say this club often. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waffle is just, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> It's quick. It's easy. It's delicious. And no one's mad about a soup waffle. And I yeah. don't have to bring any home because I'll eat it before then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Nothing extra to pack. Well, Savannah, you, I love that. Great job, guys. Great job today. Day two, killing it, crushing it. We're champs. You We're guys are cloud, champs. Cloud champs. champs. You get cube champs. Cube club champs. All get, right. You're getting this. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little chewy when you say it a few times. Tomorrow <laughs> we got a half day. We're closing down at three. I think two thir uh, two o'clock. As 2.30, great day wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Great, great segments today, great job. Um, everyone's phenomenal. We saw day a lot two. of diversity today on the stage. Day two is a wrap. Thanks so much, great job. Swag is here, Swag Review. And we have a winner. Stay tuned for more tomorrow, we'll be back. We'll see you then. <laughs>